decided to check out the crime scene. Finally! Lord have mercy, it's been forever. What are these jokers doing here? How yeah, it's right. for the examiner, Galloway. You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our Seriously. job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got Jeez, your these guys you are so desensitized. At least Phelps knows what's up, man. The jerks. The low-down scum. Uh-oh. Looks like there's blood. We got blood on our hands. And we have an incredibly naked woman. <laughs> okay! Of course I remember this. How co Yes, there was an opening in that rope, but I decided to jump over it. Let's Perlman, take a look. Your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were the first Moors, on the scene? Huh? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters. So <laughs> he sounds so proud of work. himself. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. <laughs> no, sir. I haven't touched anything, sir. Except I might have groped her boob. All right. Ah, footprint. Footy prints. They're getting footy prints all over my what desert. Can you tell me about the shoe prints. Men's what? size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Pinker? Okay, someone's name is Pinker. Alrighty. What is this? Ah, a purse and a hairbrush, huh? Hairbrush isn't important, so I'll just go ahead and take care of it. Hairbrush, no one cares. Let's look at the purse. That's where all the goodies are. That's where all the goodies reside. Hmm. Lipstick. Looks brand new. He's gonna put some on, isn't he? Used on the body. Hmm. Did he say can't be the one used by the body? Like the body wasn't a person before? <laughs> it's like the body died and then used the lipstick? Good lord. Oh, what we got here? <laughs> That's an odd thing. It's a rather strange thing to be here. Well, that looks like uh, North America. Um, and... Oh, no, no, no. no. We want to move it that way, and then we want to move this bottom one down. I said move the... Oh! I guess we're going to have to move them all the other way. I guess we can't move the bottom one. And... Oh my god, we are smart! That wasn't a hard puzzle at all. Oh. The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Okay. <laughs> it's just because it was a lighter. Why does a lighter have to be so complicated, huh? Jeez, what if someone's, like, inebriated and they want to smoke? <sighs> what do we got here? A cigarette butt! And it doesn't look like there's anything of significance over here. There's a little something important over here. Oh my god! Cause of death? Could be the head injuries. She has been badly stalked. Hmm, let's Cuts see. Superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What Man, she's got a pretty nasty... Jeez, she's got like a huge be gash in her baseball bat forehead. Or I'll have more details after the autopsy. Ugh. That is nasty. Uh, well, let's see. What do we got here? And nothing, nothing, nothing. Tra la la. Uh, well, there's a nice picture of boobs right there. Boobs. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, we got something. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. Post mortem, huh? Why couldn't you just say after they were dead? Nice boobs. Let's look at the boobs. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. It's written in her own blood. Okay. 
Well, that's fun. The writing on the victim be? BD, Black Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? Oh yeah, it's not. Sure, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomber? Man could die of thirst. It's not like. written in um blood. It's written in lipstick, of course. The lipstick <laughs> murder. <laughs> uh, hop. I just like to hop over things. So, my viewers, that is why this game is rated M for mature. Oh, should I talk to the coroner? <sighs> Whatever. Who cares, man? Who cares? I know I don't. I should. Bumba Club, huh? Let's go. Why would we random? <laughs> I almost ran over that police officer, and it would have been hilarious. It would have been funny. Ouch! Easy. Don't tell me what to, how to drive. I'll run us both off a cliff or into this hot dog stand. Boom. Hey, <laughs> I knocked that guy on his butt. <laughs> Alright. Now we gotta make ourselves, um... The werewolf? The we got it. What? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. All of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months. Next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hotshot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a known in the fort? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, folks. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoop. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. Well, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with a monitor that's terrible for police work. Sorry, I'm not There's talking, I'm just listening to these guys. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phillips, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't. Understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You would have found it. Well, all right. I get where um, Galloway's coming from. I mean, like, seriously, it seems like every time Phelps gets a case, it's always a big case. And he's always the hero. And whatever. Like, seriously, he's like, he's like the perfect cop. He's the perfect cop. Where that? What is this? Unpaven Road? Where are we? What's going on here? What? Okay. We got off the beaten path. <laughs> Alright. But anyway, yeah, Phelps is always trying to make a, what's supposed to be just a simple little case into something huge, and so far, every time he's been right. I mean, you can't just assume things, you know? You gotta, if you suspect something, you gotta go after it. But, um,. As we know, a good game with a good story, anything with a good story, not just a game, anything with a good story has a protagonist that isn't always completely perfect. They run into cars, they have a bad driving record. No, they, um, protagonists have, uh, have to have room to grow into a better person, so obviously he can't be, like, like Mr. Jesus Cop. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bumba Club. Man, this place looks so seedy. <laughs> I don't even want to go in there. <laughs> and we roll. Gentlemen. What was this I bamboo theme? Phelps and Galloway, <laughs> LAPD. Were you working here last Becky. night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Wow, he is good. Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. 
But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves him those nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? A hibiscus? Else? Isn't a hibiscus a Fire plant? Away, I'll stay here. I'm a little Seriously? Pour me three fingers of rye. Oh my gosh, he's drinking on the job. So this guy wears a plant on his head? What? <laughs> he does wear a plant on his head. Detective Phelps, What's up? LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Oh, there's the hibiscus. Sure. <laughs> she and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night. Sure, she's a regular. Celine is was a lovely woman. Oh, he seems pretty sad, actually. Poor hibiscus. I had a friend in high school who tried to smoke hibiscus. It wasn't a good idea. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. <coughs> Two gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Oh, she was leading them on. Are you telling me the truth? <laughs> I guess I have to censor out the boobs. Um. Okay, you, you look like you're truthing. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. What, you made his license plate? You make license plates. What? You mean you wrote it down? <laughs> nice. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank yes, you. it will it will be a great help. Thank you. Thank you. You're very cooperative. Well, giving it back? Keep it keep it in your pocket, Phelps. Ring stolen, huh? Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Wait, her, her flying husband buy days? It for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jake. Wait a minute. You're doubting. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay. Exactly. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. Yes, I always have. The old man never knew about it. Ooh. Man, he's got the hots for this lady, and Jacob don't know it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Okay. Uh oh, oh you're wavering. You're, I'm gonna doubt you. I'm gonna doubt you. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably <coughs> let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But... He refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but... Got no answer. This guy seems like a nice enough guy, though. Thanks, I mean... Mr. Colt. He's been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Aww. That's pretty and sad. Alright, bye, hibiscus guy. You seem nice enough. Poor hibiscus guy. <laughs> what if you were wearing the hibiscus on his forehead? That'd be pretty stupid looking, wouldn't it? Alright, let's, let's go. Let's get ahead. out of here. No, we gotta use the phone hey, first. Let's hurry. My stool is just starting to warm Who's up this? nicely. Hey, it doesn't give me anything to go on. 
I just picked that up. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna use the telephone first. Thank you. Don't leave yet, Galloway. And drive away without me. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Man, he's like yelling on the phone. How can I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate. Two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. Two boy. I guess he means B. Please. Thanks for your help. Oh, he's so polite. What is this thing? Is it a jukebox or is it a is it a vending machine? Or is it a soda machine or is it a? I don't even know, man. The 1940s confuse me. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't even know. Alright. He's just sitting here waiting. <laughs> He's like, fine, I'll walk around. Jerk. Alright, Henry Residence. Let's go ahead and go. Poor Celine. <sighs> oh well. I, th I always thought Celine was kind of a pretty name. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, fellas. <laughs> a smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. Smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's <a> mighty <laughs> You know, you picked the wrong job with a healthy thirst of vengeance, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility well, well, is all the more Goody Two Shoes is the Phelpsy. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short be alive, the Jap would have spared Pearl Harbor. <laughs> Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical <laughs> error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. <laughs> you better get used to it, because we're going to be partners for a long time. Especially if we keep on answering these distress calls. You better get out of the way. I'm talking to you. Yeah, but, yeah, I try to stay silent during those little uh, car talk. Oh my gosh, car talk. Let me not get... I guess I'll go ahead and get started on car talk. I don't know anything about cars, but I'll tell you what, I'll sit there and listen to car talk on NPR. Um, I don't know if... You guys don't have NPR in Canada, or in other countries other than the United States, but I think it's a national radio station. NP yeah, duh, national public radio, I'm an idiot! But, um, yeah, NPR is... Uh, NPR is okay, but, um... Car Talk is a show on NPR, and, um, see, they're moving out of my way for me. This guy isn't, though. Idiot. Fruit truck idiot. But, um, yeah, they, um, like, they're supposed to help people with their car problems, but they really just, like, accept callers to make fun of them and make fun of their car issues and stuff, and I just think it's hilarious. I just think it's so funny and I don't even like or care about cars I don't know anything about cars but I still listen to that program because it's, it's just funny you know? <laughs> it's just funny man with a gun we gotta take care of it this is car 11k go ahead 